In this video, I'm going to be talking about using price levels in Sage 50. So price levels are basically a way where you can track multiple selling prices for each inventory item. Uh, then you're able to assign um, customers to a price level so they automatically get the right prices. So to start out, we want to uh, set up our price levels. So we'll go to the Maintain menu, then Default Information and Inventory Items. Then we have a Price Levels tab here on the right. So um, you can rename these if you want to. You can turn off ones that you don't want to use, um, and you can set up calculations. So we're going to set, we'll rename this one as Retail, and this one as Wholesale, but you can set them up however you want. Now I will say that you've got 10 price levels showing here. If you're in Sage 50 Pro, I believe you'll only see five price levels. And for the calculations, I won't get deep into that in this video, um, but I will say that if you set up a calculation based on last cost, that does not give you dynamic pricing that automatically uh, updates when your prices change. It will still only update prices when you tell it to go in and recalculate. So I'm just gonna back out of there for now because I don't wanna set up a formula and we'll click OK. So the next step is to go to our inventory items and set up multiple prices. So here in Maintain Inventory Items, here in the Price field, you can see that now that change that we made to Retail shows right there. If we click that button, now we have access to all the price levels that we have enabled, and so you can set up a different price for each price level. Um, if you had formulas turned on, you could calculate it in there. So since our sample data already has price levels, I'm just going to cancel the back out of here, and we'll close that. Then finally, you want to go to Maintain Customers and assign each customer to a price level. We'll just grab the first customer, and we'll go to the Sales Info tab. And as you create each new customer, they, they all automatically get assigned to your price level 1, or here with the one that we've named retail. We're going to switch that to wholesale. So this customer will automatically get wholesale prices. So now let's enter a sales order. We'll take our shortcut here, go up to the task button, and we'll create a sales order. So we'll just put in a quantity, and we'll grab an item, and we can see right here that it automatically gave them the wholesale price or price level 2, whatever you want to call it. And let's also go and enter another item. And let's say we didn't want to use our normal pricing on this. Um, we just want to change the price to whatever, whatever price we want. So this price will get passed through to the sales order, to the invoice when we convert this sales order. It will not recalculate um, the unit prices based on their, on their price levels when you convert to an invoice. Same thing would, true, would be true if you did a quote. Because obviously, if we put that on there, that's the price we want it to be. It's not going to adjust that later. So that's really all there is to it. Um, that's how simple it is to use price levels in Sage 50. I hope you find that useful.